Hi everyone, my name is Casey from Home Quarters and today we'll talk about three crucial things that you have to do even before you start marketing your HDB flat for sale. Here at Home Quarters, we specialize in customized marketing strategy to properly expose your house for sale. So what are the three crucial things to take note of even before you start marketing your HDB flat? So first up, you've got to get the intent to sell, right? To apply, you need your sync pass and also it has a validity period of 12 months from the day you apply. What is this intent to sell? Firstly, it is to tell HDB and let them know that you are interested in getting your house sold in the near future, right? And secondly, you have to go through a few questionnaires to know that you are eligible to sell your house. Secondly, you got to check the ethnic quota of your particular block every single month while you are marketing your unit. Right? For example, for Chinese populated Amokyo or Topoyo region, right? For Malay populated um, Yunos or Bedok region, or Indian populated Serangoon or Little India region, there is a chance if let's say you are a Chinese in Amokyo, you could only sell to Chinese. And if a Chinese buyer come into a Malay seller home, they might not be able to buy. For example, for in Amokyo, there's a chance that for Chinese buyer, if they were to look at a Malay seller home or an Indian seller home and the ethnic quota for Chinese buyer is filled up, then they could only buy from Chinese seller. All right, for ethnic quota, this has to be checked every month and it is refreshed every month and on the HDB website. All right, thirdly, you have to check the current selling price of the competitor listing on the market and also the current transacted price recently. And this data can be found easily on HDB website and it's very, very transparent. For buyers, they will definitely, before offering, go check out on all these past transacted prices before making an offer to your home. Also, for valuator, these past transacted prices also form a basis where they will give a valuation of your unit. All right, so these are the three very crucial things to take note of before you start marketing your HDB flat for sale. All right, so that comes to the end of the episode. Hope you find this informative and valuable and see you on the next episode. Hi everyone, if you are keen to have home quarters help you effectively expose and market your unit for sale and also give you opinion on your purchasing decision, do hit us up at www.homequarters.com.sg. Hit here to like this video if you find it useful. Hit here to subscribe and also watch some more video on this channel.